Welcome along everyone. I wanted to do a video today as a follow on from a video that we covered on the Precision Golf YouTube channel. And that was on weight of golf club uh, and not flex. Everybody talks about flex of shaft as being the most important thing. Whereas we believe it's more to do with the weight. And this is something that I've been talking to my clients and people within the industry about for a good many years. Ultimately, the weight of the golf club is gonna define how well you move and how consistent you're gonna be ultimately as a golfer. The ripple effect that this golf club creates in your golf swing will pull you off balance, can be the cause of early extension, can be the cause of shanks, the toe strike, a multitude of, of errors. And I believe the absolute top of the tree for all of that is the hold. Uh, if you haven't checked out my series or a couple of videos on the grip, do so. But the weight of the golf club is at its most volatile, shall we say, in two parts of the golf swing. In the pull phase and at the swing phase. Whether you like it or not, that golf club is going to swing down at the bottom of the ball. When it swings, it depends on the stability within you to be able to cope with that swing phase or not cope with it. The opportunity to stabilize it with arms and body so that the face doesn't lose control will ultimately how much you can gather it up in transition. So Simon did a very good video on swinging a, a light club, a heavy club, and um, a club that's fit for him. So let's understand then what's going on in the pull phase of the golf swing. Well, ultimately the hands on the golf club are going to dictate a direction you pull the golf club in. So at the top of the backswing, many of us in the world will believe that the handle needs to work downwards. For me, that is only one of the two directions the handle needs to travel in. The handle absolutely drops down, but it also must have a forward momentum as well. So at the top of the backswing, how you pull that golf club down or whether you actually feel you're pulling that golf club down is a bone of contention. Lots of people will feel at the top of the golf swing, all I'm trying to do is turn. Well, just turning, if you've got a heavy implement at the top and we just turn and there's no activation through the shoulder to move that implement, you're gonna come un unstuck. And I think when we think about top of back swing and then people just turning, we really get that look of the club being late, left behind us club swings inside and ball pops out to the right. How you pull the golf club in sequence with your body, well, now we're talking. What do you feel at the top of the chain when you're pulling on the golf club? And what do you feel down at the bottom of the kinetic chain through your feet? How you instigate rotation, I believe is hugely influenced by your feet and not through your middle trying to turn through your middle is really a superficial way of rotating. Rotation really comes from leg length in my books. So when we're taking the golf club to the top and we start pulling on that golf club, we can pull it with the handle, but we can also make golfers feel like they're going to push the head. Now you look at the best players in the world, they will create some sort of download as they pull on the golf club that makes the radius between the club shaft and the shoulder narrow. That creates more swinging effect at the bottom. But of course you've got to have a bit of mastery in the orientation of the face down at the bottom of the ball. But also understanding where you need to be in space to make that swing path and that angle of attack fall out. This video is not to give you necessarily 
a direction of what you should do, but more of a video that gives you some insight into what you perhaps need to start to think about rather than do this. Because if I get you to do this, it will work for some of you and not work for others. It's up to you to understand where you are at with your golf swing. So at the top of the backswing, are you a guy that likes to feel his hips turn? Are you a guy that likes to turn your chest? Are you a guy that absolutely doesn't pull on the handle? Someone that tries to throw the club head out? Who are you? And I think that's a way more important question for me to pose to you than telling you what you should be doing. Because I don't know what your traits are as a golfer. And I think that's where we get a little unstuck when we start searching for answers within our golf swing, when we go looking for YouTube channels. I think we need to understand where we are as a golfer and where that potential flaw comes from. So at the top of the backswing, if you've got a golf club that is very heavy, of course, if I was to stand here and someone asked me to pull down something that was too heavy for me, it would be very difficult for me to really lock out my lower half and then pull the golf club. And then once I've got that golf club moving to then suddenly pick up the pace with my lower half. What I actually need to do is have a golf club that when I pull it, I can simultaneously use my lower half at the same rate I can start moving the golf club down. And so the harmony at the top of the backswing of when I'm pulling the golf club and using my feet to rotate will ultimately define your strike and define the ability to keep delivering the golf club. Ha! Take that as a shot. But ultimately this golf club, and if you haven't checked it out, you'll see my video on the Precision Golf YouTube channel of these clubs being built and designed for me of a weight that allows me to, to deliver exactly that. Understanding that when you pull on this golf club, are you pulling on a golf club that is fundamentally too heavy for you, which stops you from firing your lower half at the same rate and at the same volume of expression of energy as the top half to deliver it all nice and square at the bottom? Are you even thinking about using your feet to rotate? Lots of questions posed, but hopefully this gives you some questions that might set you on a journey to think about the golf swing a little bit differently. If you are one of those guys trying to hold something back to make something else move, you are pulling up a handbrake whilst trying to hit the accelerator pedal. Hopefully, this video has been insightful and asked or posed some questions to you. Stay tuned for more content coming your way. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the like, subscribe and share with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.